So here's the fact. We use sucralose because we want our shake to be diabetic friendly. We know that when you're overweight, your risk of diabetes is much, much greater. You've seen it on the news just as recently as two days ago, diabetes epidemic, right? And it's because of that, eight ounces of sugar we're eating a day. It's hidden in everything. Now people go, why don't you use a uh, natural sweetener like xylitol, right? Xylitol is a natural sugar alcohol. Xylitol causes diarrhea in 22% of the population. So one, two, three, diarrhea, one, two, three, <laughs> diarrhea, one, two, three. Not a pleasant side effect. The other issue is um, to use, sorry. <laughs> Um, the other issue is if we were to make the neuro taste as good as it does with xylitol, that amount is toxic or fatal. It would kill a 40 pound dog. Hmm. All right, so we're not going to use xylitol because we have concerns about the safety. Stevia. All right, everybody's like hot on stevia. All right, we've looked at stevia. Stevia has not been approved in 80 markets, right? Stevia has only recently been approved in the US, it's still not approved in all of Europe. It's going through a lot more clinicals to make sure it's safe. So I like to say, all right, we're looking at stevia. We'll probably be using it in a new product coming up in Atlanta. Um, but it leaves a bitter licorice aftertaste. We know some people don't like that. So if they're not going to use the shake, they're not going to stick with it. So we're not using stevia primarily for that reason and also because we want to make sure it's safe. And we're still looking at safety data. So then people go, OK, well, why don't you use agave? Agave, it's low glycemic. All right, agave is 90% fructose. Fructose spikes hunger. Okay, it's a weight loss product. Not a good idea. So we're not using agave because we don't want to use fructose because fructose spikes hunger. So this is the bane of my existence as sweeteners. There isn't a perfect one on the market today, trust me. So we use sucralose. So why do we use sucralose and how much? We use 0.03 milligrams. That is a third of a diet soda, a very small amount, right? Take a Splenda packet, divide it by three, okay? It's a small amount. Now, it's safe. There are people out there who go, oh, it's like the DDT molecule. I have a whole email on it. No, it's not. Um, then they go, oh, it's chlorinated. It's the chlorine in your pool. So here's what it is. Sucralose is a sugar molecule. They attach it to a chloride. That's called the chlorination process. Chloride. Look up chloride. They're found in tomatoes. They're found in spinach. They're found in everything you eat. They're healthy for you. But it helps the sugar molecule pass through your intestinal tract. So it's attached to a chloride, it's not chlorinated. It is not the DDT molecule. Where that one started, I don't know. But I want to find that person and slap them. So, <laughs> do the pain of my existence. It's, so again, it's approved by the World Health Organization. It's approved in over 80 countries. I point that out because if you don't trust the US government because they approve FedFed and Vioxx and things that have harmed people, look to the rest of the world market where they're much stricter than we are in the US. The rest of the world has approved it, and it's been used for over 20 years, and I don't see the population like dying off because of sucralose. I say it's safe, right? And then people go, well, if it's natural, it's safe. Just remember, you don't wander out in the woods and eat mushrooms. You can die from drinking too much water too fast. Safe does not mean natural. We've got to get that out of our head. Safe is what you eat in a healthy dose and not overdoing it. So that's why we use sucralose. As soon as I can find something that's safer, tastes as good, and is used as wild, widely around the world, we will use it. Until then, we're going to stick with sucralose. Does that answer the question? They say that. I'd like to see the data that supports that. Usually, when they're allergic to sweeteners, they're allergic to aspartame, right? And they confuse the two. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's related to the sucralose. Have her talk to her doctor.